Good morning. Today we will talk about high voltage equipment. So I will teach you how to use the high voltage equipment on board. Okay. So now you can see this is the high voltage shoes. They are the safety shoes tested for 11,000 uh, kilo volt. This is the goggles, safety goggles. This is the personal high voltage tester. This is the multimeter. This is your tongue tester for checking of current. Even it can be used as a multimeter. This equipment, you can fit a road and it is a touchable. You can touch the equipment and then by touching only it will sense the uh, your high voltage. And this is the non-conducting uh, high voltage tester. This is your mega for checking insulation. And this is the helmet and visor. So first of all, we will talk about uh, uh, this equipment. And we we know that any voltage above thousand volt is considered to be high voltage on board. So, and the maximum permitted voltage is six point six kV, is six thousand six hundred volt. Where your uh, other industries at shore. You can have 11 kV, 33 kV, and many more. But where the marine industry is concerned, on board it is 6600 volts, the maximum permitted. Okay, now we'll talk about this is boots. These are the shoes, safety shoes. When you are working on board, that time you are supposed to put on these boots. So these are already tested for 11 kV. So when you are working on 6,600 volt, so this will safeguard you from your body to earth. So you won't get a show. Safety goggles that you are supposed to put on because of any arc, arc flash and arc blast, then you should have a goggles. This is the meter which we are putting. So suppose you are near to the area, it's a high voltage when you're going to work and you are tested of course, but you find that this equipment, if somehow there is some voltage, some high voltage, then this will give alarm. So you will understand that you are near to the high voltage area. So too, you will safeguard yourself. Same thing is a multimeter. Multimeters, you already know, you since you are the electrical engineers, you already know what is a multimeter. It is, you can test the voltage and uh, you can test voltage, current, and then all uh, continuity, etc. Then you have a tongue tester. The tongue tester is your clamp meter. This is the digital clamp meter. This is the so. So when you want to test a current, high current, at that time you'll uh, switch over to the particular range and this by pressing this uh, button, this jaw will open and you connect uh, across the, uh, around the cable. So you, you must be already aware that when you are arranging, when you are clamping the cable, you should have a single core. You should have a single core, not all three core. If you put all three core, it will be zero result. So you put a single core, check the current and how many cores are there, you have to check uh, current in all the cores. Okay. Then this comes the high voltage tester. In this, you can see these two jaws and here you can connect the long road. The, the long, long roads are for extension. So when you are touching the equipment touching the voltage that time you you should not go near to the voltage and because your equipment is energized so you at from far from far you can touch so there is a setting inside it is on then you have a setting so there's a, a power lamp red lamp so when you are touching this it is a red lamp will glow 
and it will give alarm stating that you have a high voltage on board that is your equipment is touching with the high voltage the another equipment is the non retrievable in this you can see this is the red line and this is the knob it is in 220 volt uh, 1000 volt 220 volt 40 440 volt 1000 volt 2000 Or is is 2.9 k kV. Then you're having 6,000, 6.6 kV, 11 kV, and up to 11 kV it is. This also, when you go near to the, when you put it, when is the test test, you can test this, and then you can set. Like suppose you have put the 220, and you take your equipment near the 220, it will give a beep alarm. So it is sensing. A voltage without touching. So when we are going for high voltage, so because we don't want to go very near to it, so we put a handle. There is extension rod that we can put here, and without touching, when we go near to the uh, equipment, this will give alarm. So you you are set like six point six kV. So in our lab, we have six point six kV. so that will be testing so when you are putting it to near to it it will give an alarm so you will understand that your your voltage is present then you have a maker this is the you must have seen a maker so maker generally tested 440 volt having two leads one is uh, earth another line but in high voltage you have three leads one lead is earth that is a black color second lead is of red color and third is the guard so guard the red red lead and black lead is for testing your equipment but equipment and plus testing of insulation high voltage resistance and dielectric test but the green the guard guard is extra fitted and connected with the earth it is to ensure if your guard is connected you don't get shock your equipment if any leakage current happens to be at the high 5000 volt 11 when it is 5000 volt and your leakage current so you don't have a leak if you have leakage current that will get into the earth so you your equipment is not damaged plus you are not uh, getting shock this i i'll explain you further how to test the insulation and this is the helmet so you must understand on board when you are working on the high voltage you should know to use your high voltage your metal helmet so this is a plastic helmet and this is a visor a visor is in case of there is a some uh, spark or arc flash or arc blast so it will protect from you from the arc okay then now now we'll continue with this and we, i will teach you how how to check the insulation of the high voltage high voltage equipment so we can take it up to more than 5000 volt but we will test it on the 5000 volt so before now it has three terminals one is the line terminal This is the arc terminal and this is the guard terminal. Guard terminal is for safety of equipment and safety of person. Okay. So what happen in this? We connect this guard to the arc and uh, and this this line. This is the cable which we are going to test. So this is the arc part and this is the line, line part. So we will connect the arc part to this for testing. We connect this. We are connected this one, and line also. We are connected with the line. Right. So, but before doing this, we'll switch on the we'll switch on matter and connected this both both at arms and check. So you can see it is a zero zero insulation. 
your earth is connected properly. Okay. Then, uh, when you increase this voltage, we will connect this line, this is the earth and this is the line. We will connect, keep it down or uh, you say close. Okay. So now our guard terminal is connected to the earth for the your protection. This is the earth thing and this is the line. line. So we increase the voltage. We took the voltage. Now it is 5000 volt. Okay. So now at 5000 volt, we will check, we will test this. So now the test is being carried out. Test is being carried out. Now you can see that insulation 17.5 giga ohm. The insulation is very high. So you should have a good insulation. Test out. In high voltage, we are using vacuum circuit breaker. So, uh, if this is our device, again you can see. So, in this, we are using vacuum circuit breaker. So, where the contacts? So, this is the part which we have in contact inside. And this is the, so we have two here for demonstration that another one is defective. As a, so if you see that, that one is defective. Okay. So, there is no vacuum in this, and then you can move, it can be moved. But This can be move on because there is no vacuum. Okay. But in this, this is a good one. We say this contact cannot move up and down. 